Good evening and thanks for joining us for 10 News at 5. I'm John Apicello. And I'm Rachel Lucas. Life-saving work is underway. Carillion announced today the largest donation in their history. They're receiving $25 million for a new cancer center. 10 News reporter Amy Cockrum shares the benefit they hope this will have to our region. This fall, this parking lot will look a little bit different as they break ground on the Carillion Taubman Cancer Center. Its goal is to bring more advanced technology and treatment options here to the area. This is what the center should look like when it's finished in about two and a half years. A crowd gathered to hear donors Nicholas and Jenny Taubman speak about why they chose to contribute $25 million to the project. If you live here, made your living, made your fortune here, uh, you really owe something to give back. Uh, and something to uh, make it a better place after you're gone. Nicholas is a former U.S. ambassador and son of the founder of Advanced Auto Parts. The couple is known for contributing to the Taubman Museum of Art. And now we're focusing on health care because we really can be state-of-the-art health care in this whole area. CEO of Carillion Clinic Nancy Agee says she is thrilled to see the impact this is going to have on people in the region. She knows how hard a cancer diagnosis can be and how important access to care is for Southwest Virginia. We had the personal experience with my husband where we had to go out of state for care, and we know firsthand how difficult that is. The new center plans to welcome new specialists, allowing the people of Southwest Virginia to fight even the most aggressive forms of cancer here at home. Being surrounded by the people that you love and the place that you love makes a difference. Carillion says they've raised more than $70 million for the project so far. In Roanoke, Amy Cochran continues working for you. And again, it's all about access to care. Every doctor I talk to stresses that. You know, cancer morbidity rates in Appalachia and rural regions here in our area are higher than others because people don't have as much access to facilities or preventative care as other parts of the state. So this could change that. This is a piece of that. Well, I know everyone's heard this before, but cancer touches everyone, yes. everywhere. And when you have to make a trip yes. to go fight the battle, that makes it all, all the more hard. So, so without that, I think it gives everyone a better chance. Yeah, I do too. So looking forward to this. And of course, we'll be covering this as the project continues.